Who are you? Who are you? If there's anything in our culture right now, people are dealing with trying to find out who they are, what their name is, their identity. There's this huge thing about identity. Have you noticed in the conversation of our culture now, how many people will say, this is the way I feel, therefore this is who I am. This is the way I feel, therefore this is who I am. No. No. It, it, have you, have you noticed the commercials <laughs> uh, about where you can send your uh, swab of your saliva off and you can find out your DNA and in your DNA you can find out all your ancestors? And so we have commercials of all this excited people going, hey, I found out I'm 25% Italian. I found out I'm 30% German and that's changed everything. I, I, know, I know my ancestors. I know who I am. No, you don't. <laughs> you know who all your ancestors may have been, but you don't know who you are. Uh, my dad never would do that. My dad never would do that ancestor stuff or DNA. He said, no. He said, the kinfolk I know scare me to death. He said, I don't, I don't want anybody else. <laughs> the problem is when you do not know who you are, you do not know your name. You do not have that name that is only given to you in a divine encounter with the risen Christ. When you allow the world to name you, they always get it wrong. You'll be told you're victim. You'll be told you're broken. You'll be told that you are worthless. You'll be told you're too heavy, you're too skinny, you're too tall, you're too short, you're too this, you're too that. And the world will give you a name and brand you with it so you'll spend your whole life trying to outlive what the world called you. Do you ever notice this? Listen. This is what happens uh, in our world. We don't name you. The world doesn't name you until you do something. Okay? It's about what you do, not who you are. And so the world will uh, name an athlete. An athlete has a brilliant career but has one flub, has one moment where they don't do well. And we will call that person a choker for the rest of their career, the rest of their life. And whenever that person is introduced, they will tell the moment that they flubbed it. They won't talk about all the victories. They'll talk about the moment they flubbed it. Uh, you remember this guy. He's the guy who dropped the ball, who struck out, who, who, who missed the kick. You will remember this guy. He's a loser. He's a choker. Now, if you win, we'll call you champ. And you can carry those trophies around and we will call you champ. Do you know how many champions in our culture are miserable because they won a championship, but nobody loves them for who they are. Who are you? Did you notice how many times an encounter with Christ ends up with a name change? Uh, Abram becomes Abraham. The husband of Sarah becomes the father of a nation. Abram becomes Abraham. Uh, Jacob becomes Israel, the one who wrestled with God. Uh, Simon becomes Peter. Saul becomes Paul. Now, let me tell you the interesting thing about when Jesus names you. He doesn't name you for what you have done, but who you will become. Not what you've done, but who you will become. If you were one of the other disciples standing there when Jesus said to Simon, you are the rock, would you have been able to stop laughing? Nothing is worse than having to stop laughing in church, is it? Right? Something makes you giggle in church. It's the funniest thing ever. Can you imagine standing there next to Jesus and Jesus turns to Peter and goes, you're the rock. <laughs> in what world? Oh, yeah, this rock, this Peter. This is the guy who promised Jesus, I will, I will give my life before anything happens to you. I will die before I let anybody touch you. And then he caves under the intense interrogation of a teenage girl. Oh, this is the rock that the church is going to be built on. And it was that same rock, recovered and restored, that stood in downtown Jerusalem and said, there is no other name given under heaven 
whereby men and women can be saved. It wasn't who he was, but who he became. 